three and we're judging the family category. So this is the first session of the day for APA 2017. My name is Robin Hills. I'm going to be your panel chair for this session and I'm assisted by Greg Farmer and our print handlers out the back are Tracy, Helen and Bonnie. They don't get to be seen too much but they do a very important role. So I would also like to introduce Bruce from G Clay Media Supplies and he's our sponsor for this category and we're going to hear a message from him. Now, can you all hear me? So that's pretty good. I've never had to do a message from the sponsor. This is quite unique. <laughs> so thanks, Robin. Um, G Clay Media Supplies is very proud to sponsor the 2017 Appers and in this case, it's the family category. Now, for those of you who don't know us, we're a boutique inkjet, archival inkjet distributor, and we've been in the marketplace for about a one and a half decades. So we've been here for a long time, and we direct supply the laboratories where you probably get some of these prints, or those of you who print yourselves directly. <laughs> now, we're represented by a number of key brands, and those brands are Moab of the United States for its long-standing range of cotton rag papers, Entrada and Juniper. Sill of Europe, who's one of the two largest coaters in the world of inkjet papers and the creator of many of the brands behind your printer companies and several of the other things. We import them directly without the middlemen. They have plants in France, Germany and Switzerland. And several of the very little boutique cotton rag manufacturers, some of the very best in the world. Matter of fact, my famous, uh, my famous uh, brand, the one that I print on, is Somerset Velvet of England. And we represent many other smaller ones. Now, um, Sheer Clay Media Supplies uh, is unique in the Australian market, and I think I might have been introduced as the owner of the business rather than an employee. And if you ever know Gclay Media Supplies, you'll never find me there because you find me in Iceland taking a photograph or in England or some other place but never here unless Peter sends me an email and rudely, rudely tells me to come back. Now, the, being an owner, you can do something kind of unique. You can actually enforce policy. And our policy is not to be uh, a, a, a run-of-the-mill uh, camera, supplier, manufacturer with a couple of packets of inkjet paper on the side. Our business is a huge warehouse to direct supply those people with inkjet prints and to have long-term relationships with them that stretch all the way from how to envisage the photograph to how to print it, to discuss whether it should have been focus stacked, HDR'd, how you print with cotton rag papers, particularly how you pull shadows out of them, right to the end of the reproduction. So my employees are either on or all of them have long service leave. They're not here today or gone tomorrow. So their idea is to have a relationship. And lastly, if you want to view the uniqueness of that relationship, I'd like you to have a look at our stand, which is number 11, and look at the significant difference between our stand and what you might see somewhere else. Every one of those images is this high. It's open to the touch. There's no glass. Every one of them has the camera that took it on the bottom of it, the lens that took it, and if you come to speak to me, I'll tell you the apertures that they were taken at. And the reason for that, and whether it was a tilt shift, whether it was stacked, whether it was in the studio, what the lighting was, all my employees know these things. So that's our significant difference, that we work with you, and after all, what this is about is the APA Awards. It's about the quality of the print. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bruce. And on behalf of all of us at the AIPP, thank you for your sponsorship and your support of APA and the AIPP in general. I'd also like to thank and acknowledge Olympus, Aon, Panasonic as platinum sponsors of APA. Your support of this entire event is very much appreciated. So I'd like to now introduce our judges this morning. We have Kelly Tunney from the ACT, and she's a master with two bars. Peter Rossi from Cannes, and he is a Grand Master and also the current Portrait Professional Photographer of the Year winner for 2016. 
um, Natalie Howe from Sydney, and she is a master and also the current uh, New South Wales and national newborn photographer of the year. Andrew Esposito is from Melbourne. He's a master with four gold bars and he has previously won the Victorian Professional Photographer of the Year. Annie Payne is from Sydney and she's a master of photography. Dave Landour, is that how I can, yes, is uh, from Victoria and he is a master of photography. And Nick Gihonis is from Melbourne. He's a master with two bars and he has previously won the Victorian Wedding Photographer of the Year three times and in the Wedding and Portrait Photographer International he is the eighth highest scoring photographer in the world. So that's very, Im we have an impressive set of judges here. So we are also going to just talk to you about this is the judging for, the this will be the outcome of the Australian Family Photographer of the Year. The winner will receive a trophy and $1,000 in cash. And the family category is intended for domestic photographers to enter images that reflect the real work you are selling or aiming to sell to your clients. In addition to the core rules, entries in this category must be commissioned by the family depicted in the entry. Your entry does not have to be a photograph you sold to the client, but it must be from the same photography session. You cannot enter members of your immediate family under any circumstances, and images may be multi-layered, allowing the use of additional photographic elements. Diptiches, triptiches, and series are also permitted, and as to our head swaps. So we will just get the microphone in the next room turned down a little. Can you all hear me okay? Is that a little better? Thank you. And can we have the first print, please? Thank you. Thank you, judges. And we have our first silver award for the day, 80. <laughs> and could we have Peter, could you make um, a brief comment to give some feedback to the photographer? Uh, I quite enjoy the fact that I imagine each person has thought about how they'd like to be portrayed. And I think the photographer has done that quite well. Thank you, Peter. Lovely. Next print, please. Thank you, judges. We have an average score of 78. And could we have uh, Natalie, could you make a brief comment to assist the photographer? Yeah, the uh, lighting is stunning. Um, I just find the use of the tree could have been um, probably just um, dealt with a little bit in, 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 a, in a different way. I find the, the, the doubling over of it a little distracting. So explore some options. Lovely, thank you. Next print, please.
Thank you, ju thank you, judges. We have a by majority score of 79. And Annie would like to challenge. Um, Annie's on 88. Judges, you're working with 78, 78, 78 and 77. Um, yeah, I, I love this little story. I think it's a, a really great uh, example of a feast. Um, it feels very real to me. And, the, th and um, the thing I love about it too is that each of the images is, are very strong and they're telling us something very different. And then coming together, it's, it's a very well put together story. Thank you. Um, Andrew, you're on 77. I believe that this professional excellence um, in 88 range, um, I, I feel that perhaps, you know, in, in the sense of the way that the lighting had been handled a little bit, could have been a little bit more precise in the sense of bringing out the tones and the quality of the print itself. Uh, and even, even perhaps if um, in the composition wise, not so tightly cropped, and that didn't bother me so much, but I felt that perhaps even a little bit of less distraction with the background, perhaps bring the, the, the subject a little bit forward to non so distractive background in that sense. Thank you. Um, Natalie, a very brief comment. Um, yeah, I agree. I believe this is beautiful professional standard, um, but to take it into award level just just needs that little bit more wow. Yeah. Thank agree you. Agree with Andrew. Annie, back to you. Yeah, it really does um, have the wow factor for me. I think that the photographer has taken it from being a, um, a simple story into really nailing the character of the subjects and, you know, thinking of it from a family point of view, the little pouting on the lips and the personality of the dog and the child. And I think that that's, you know, what this category is about to really show um, true life stories and um, I applaud the photographer for, for taking a challenging um, background and a colour palette and I think pulling it off really well. Thank you. Uh, Annie's score of 88 is locked in and the current score by majority is 79. Judges, having listened to the debate, please rescore now. Thank you. We have a silver award, 82. <laughs> You've made someone very happy. Thank you. Next print, please. Thank you, judges. We have a silver award at 82. And Kelly would like to challenge. Kelly's on 87. Uh, you're working with 83, 83, 81 and 78. All right. I think, uh, you know, in family category, this is a big family. This is obviously, um, you know, big rugby family. Um, I just love the, the characters. You've got the little kids doing the haka. And I don't mean to just point out the obvious, but I just think... It just feels not so contrived. It feels really fun and energetic and a really great way to, you know, showcase this, this family and their interest and their passion. And it, it's great. And I think they're all involved and they're all very engaging, even with each other and individually. I think it's just been presented really well. Um, I, you know, imagine this family to have this big, massive print of this in their home and it's a big family um, hard to photograph I think it's just been really well done it's clean it's well printed lighting's great um, 
yeah, f silver distinction for just showcasing something a little bit more fun and energetic, I think. Thank you. Uh, Annie on 78. Yeah, I, I feel that this image is uh, trying too hard. Um, I think that perhaps if it was a really large image in a different context, then that, that would work. But in this size, I feel like there is too much going on and it is very constructed. And um, so for me, I struggled then to see the personalities and the true character. So, um, yeah, that's why. Thank you. Um, back to you, Kelly, right of reply. Yeah, I think, it, uh, not that I am a family photographer, but if you are, you know, your client's one of ten, I, I, I mean, there's a, a couple of duplicates in there. It's, it's hard to photograph a big family and, you know, you want to showcase their personality and obviously they're so heavily into rugby and I just love the little characters and the balls that are bigger than the size of the kids and things like that. I mean... I don't mean to be clutching at straws here, but I just think it's it's a really great, innovative way. I don't feel it's constructed at all. I just Thanks, think it Kelly. is fun. Lovely. Kelly's score of 87 is locked in. The current average score is 82. Judges, please rescore now. And it goes to 83. Silver Award. Thank you. Next print, please. Just, just for the audience information, every point can be extremely valuable. Quite often, the finalists in the categories are only differentiated by sometimes half a point. So fighting for one point can be very, very important to the entrant. Thank you. We have an average score of 77. And could we hear Andrew? Could you just make a comment to I give I would the just pay particular attention to the actual printing and the handling of the actual image itself in that sense. Okay. Thank you very much. Next print, please. Thank you. We have an average score of 79. And as you're all in a very close range, this print will go for review. But before that, we'd like um, Natalie, could you give us a brief comment to assist the photographer? Um, I find this a uh, beautiful professional standard. Any parent would, would love this image. So um, beautiful and sharp. Yeah, I love it. It's gorgeous. Okay, thank you. Next print, please. Thank you. Ken Kelly, uh, we're going to um, k just keep rotating all our judges. We're going to have Nick Jehonas join us. Thanks, Kelly. Um, we've got a team of judges here and we're just going to keep everyone rotating fresh and everyone gets a turn. Thank you. We have an average score of 81 silver award. And Peter would like to challenge it. And um, Peter, we've actually got an interesting score range um, through 85, 82, 77 and 76. 
So Peter, we'll accept your challenge. You can speak first and then we'll hear from Nick. Uh, to me, how else can you show all the people who are behind a baby coming into the world and who'll support the baby from there on? This is like a, a sign of uh, support and help and we will help you through. There's a, uh, a little... A strange little area there in the centre, and I'm just wondering if uh, maybe I shouldn't go there. But it almost is calling me, and it's almost uh, I, I can't work out what part of the baby it is. And so maybe there could be an abnormality there, and even more uh, strength and importance of those hands uh, coming into there. Uh, what could that be? A I knee, it's a very big knee. I guess uh, we can't assume that, Peter. Right. So if we can talk about the print. And okay. and Conceptually, it's an extremely strong image. Thank you. Uh, Nick on 76. Hello. Yep. I think that um, everything you just mentioned, Peter, is um, definitely um, the story that I feel it's, it's very, very powerful. I love the story. Uh, when I look at this, though, this is actually a print competition. And... The heavy blacks and the and and the um, the shadow details that have been missed, and, and even the fact that you, you um you know there's no separation between the background. I just feel that that's really let itself down. I think if there was a bit more attention to that detail, I would I would actually be up there with you. But I, f I feel that the print the print um and, and the treatment or post processing of this has really let it down. Thank you. Uh, briefly from Andrew, something to add? Yep. I, I kind of looked at that as well and I thought I've, I was a little bit harsh on the 85. I would have taken it perhaps to the gold range if that was looked at. Um, but looking at the supportive and communication cropping and just the way the baby's held at the altar on presentation of life itself and the emotional charge in this, I thought this is an amazing print. If it had all the blacks in it like that, I would have brought this to gold. But Thank I think you. the silver distinction is excellent. Back to you, Peter, right of reply. Yeah, to me, that lighting and that background, that is all about mood. And anything else in that image would have been distracting. Do we really need to see the hair on the back of the baby's head? No, not to me. This is about a message. It's about an extremely strong story. And I don't think anything's missing. And I don't feel there's anything wrong with any of the tones. I think Thank it's you, Peter. placing it right there. Peter's score of 87 is locked in. The current average is 81. Judges, having listened to the debate, please re-enter your scores. And it goes to 85, silver with distinction. <laughs> Thank you. Next print, please. Thank you. We have an average score of 79. So this print will go for review. And uh, Nick, could we get you to make a brief comment to assist the photographer? I just feel that the actual um, the static pose belies the, the dress and, and I'm not really seeing the story as well as it can be um, portrayed. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so this print will go for review at the end of this category. And uh, next print, please. So just for our audience who are listening to us to explain um, the score of seventy nine, if any of the point of any of the scores are on what we call a break point, so one point away from going to the next category the print will be reviewed in the other room by another set of five judges. It will be a yes-no decision at the end, but at this way there will be at least 10 judges will have looked at your work and given it the fairest result possible.
Thank you. We have an average score of 83. And Annie would like to challenge it. Annie's on, 80, on 92. And Annie, you're working with an 84, 82 and 278. So it's a cha can challenge from both directions. So we'll start with you and then we'll hear from Natalie. Great. Um, yeah, well, this is, this is cool. This is something new that I've seen in this category and I'm really immediately excited by that. I feel like there's a lot of um, storytelling going on in this image that I was really drawn to. Um, I feel like the photographer is telling us about so much about these people's lives and the change that's happened in their life um, since having a baby. And I particularly love the, the natural posing of the family there and, and, ex and the expressions are just spot on, absolutely perfect, just so emotional and so real. Um, and then you've got the story of the newspaper and the coffee, the old Saturday mornings la la lounging around and now, you know, we're with the baby. And it's just telling me so much about that. I love the composition. I love the feeling of it. It's just bringing all of those elements together and, yeah, makes me very excited and puts me straight up into that gold category. Thank you. And uh, Natalie? Yeah, I put this in professional standard. It's a beautiful story and it's very emotive, but for me to take it into an award category, the technical skills just aren't there. So I'm finding the, um, the softness on the faces and the muddiness of some of those blacks, um, for me, just doesn't take it into award standard, let alone a gold. Thank you. Um, Peter, anything to add? You're on 84. It's 84. Uh, uh I gave 84 and I'm going to Silver Distinction with it. Um, I really do love the story. It's full. Uh, it's, it's so comprehensive. Thank you. Know, th you. There's so much in there. But it's just those black, the blacks that really held me out from gold. So it's just a technical printing Thank thing. you. And Annie, back to you, right of reply. Yeah, little teeny tiny technical, you know, floor, but... But bigger than that, way bigger than that, is this, it's something new. It's very hard to deliver something completely new and fresh and simple as well, which is what is really exciting to me. And actually, I like the, gr the grittiness of the printing in this because I'm seeing the texture of the sheets and they're just back to that, um, their expressions and it's really taking me there. I feel like I'm there with them and yeah, I really, I love it. I think it's Thank amazing. Thank you. Any score of 92 is locked in. The current average is 83. Having listened to the debate, judges, please rescore now. Thank you. And we have a silver award, 84. Which also means it will go for review into the other room at the end of this, so um, to be reviewed for possibly a silver distinction. Thank you, judges. Next print, please. Thank you. We have an average score of 81, silver award. Nick would like to challenge. Nick's on 86. Nick, you've got an 85, 82, a 77 and a 75. Okay, so first of all, exquisite printing. I think it's just an amazing print. Uh, so I applaud the photographer for, um, for doing that as well. Uh, the storytelling with this and, and having all these expressions and as, as far as a family photographer is concerned and as a, far as, a, as a father, I think this would be an amazing image that I would actually love to put on my wall. I love the fact that, you know, that, that it's not so literal where you have all these different, um, um, you know, double exposures there. I just think it's, uh, yeah, I really feel it, it deserves a, um, a silver distinction. Um, I know we've got one on 85. I just uh, got a few more points to get up there, but please, guys, really reconsider this. Thank you. Uh, Peter on 75. Sorry for Nick. I'm finding it just way too busy. 
and I, I know there's one that's 100% opacity, but I don't really know where to look. I'm all over the joint. Uh, I, I'm almost feeling uncomfortable looking at it. I think there could have been another way to portray the movement and the action, but uh, that it's quite a novel approach. But Thank it didn't you, work Peter. For me. Uh, we're going to hear from Andrew on 85. I'm in the greens with you, Nick. Um, it is a silver distinction as far as I, I feel this print is absolutely beautifully handled in composition. Just the way even the pink balloon leads your eyes right across with that S bend going right through. And he keeps that attention in the middle where the girl's probably had enough and she's sitting on that purple balloon that she so much tried to get a hold of on the left hand side. And yes, I think those, those double exposures and everything work well for me because there's such communicative expression from the child in the end just to bring that present and I think that print Thank is you. amazing. Uh, back to you Nick, right of reply. For those of you who can't see my fellow judge the who's wearing the most um, loudest of shirts, <laughs> um, <laughs> when he says something being busy, I, um, I feel though in terms of the, the the business, if you've got a child of this particular age and running around and it is, it's manic, it's actually quite manic. And, you know, the, the actual craziness of it all in looking at all these different expressions and what's going on and then the final sitting on that balloon, cheeky, and that's like, there you go, that's where I'm at. So um, that's why I feel like it, it deserves a sort of distinction. Thank you. Nick's score of 86 is locked in. The current average is 81. Judges, please rescore now. And we have, by majority, a score of 85. Silver distinction. Thank you. Next print, please. So, judges, we want you to jog up to the print if you want to have a look and then jog back to your seats. We want to save time for fabulous conversation about the photos. So just to let our audience know, when I announce a by majority score, the average score may be something that's a couple of points away, but there has to be at least three judges in the same five point score range, and that puts it to, to that category up or down. It is a majority decision. Thank you. We have a silver award, 81. <laughs> and Natalie, a very brief comment to tell the photographer what you enjoyed. Yeah, th this has beautiful emotional impact. Um, we have seen things like this before, so for me to take it up higher, it just needed to be a little bit more innovative. Okay. It's too early in the morning. <laughs> Thank you very much. Next sprint, please. Thank you. We have an average score of 79. And could I just get Peter to make a very brief comment? I love the family fun and the mood that the, that's not like they're all doing it and they're all doing it with the same amount of passion, which is great. It's just a distracting landscape behind. I'd love to see them clearly. And the further you get back, the more the trees merge with some of the people and it starts to fall apart Thank from you. that angle. Fabulous. No, this print will go for review. All the scores are very close together. So we're actually going to um, comment on every photo if we can. So 
Uh, and thank you, Peter. We're just going to keep rotating the judges around to give everyone a turn, and we're going to invite Dave, Dave Landau, to come in, in and join us. Thank you. And next print, please. Thank you. We have by majority a score of 79. Yes, you can, Andrew. Andrew is on 84. He would like to challenge it. You're working with an 81, two 78s and a 77. I would like to see this print go to 80 or at least a silver distinction. Um, I don't mind the actual brightness on the side of the child's face. I thought this was beautifully handled. The minute this print turned, I think in communicative skills and the way that it's been handled and the technique, with the slight out of focus at the very top to lead us in the center of the baby itself, I say itself or herself or himself, I think it's well presented and it deserves a silver. So I asked my fellow judges to bring it to a silver with scoring. Thank you, and we can hear from Annie on 77. Yeah, um, I saw this as a very good professional practice um, for this style of work. There's nothing else that's um, yeah, taking me into the, into the award range. Thank you. Uh, your right of reply? Yeah, look, I felt the same, but I, I feel that this image beautifully handled in composition and execution mm -hmm. and the way that it presents itself in the printing itself and the softness of the highlights and the shadows and everything else, it's beautifully handled. For me, I'm looking for um, exceeds normal professional practice with high level of communication crafts and skills, which I believe this print has. Thank you. Um, it is by majority score, so it's a team decision. Um, Andrew's score of 84 is locked in. Judges, having listened to the debate, please rescore now. And it stays at 79, so the print will go for review at the end of the category. Thank you. Next print, please. Please jog up to the screen if you're going to go for a look. We want to save precious time for a debate. Thank you. Scores, please, judges. Thank you. We have an average score of 84 Silver Award. <laughs> Thank you. And could we have a very brief comment from Nick? I really love the actual story here. I actually, I actually thought it was a basket of dust in the, in the, um, with the actual seed falling in there, so I had to get a closer look there. Um, I just yeah, feel it definitely deserves a silver distinction, so um, hopefully it um, so gets So it will crossed. go for review. Thank you. Next print, please. Thank you. We have an average score of 81, silver award. 
Thank you. I need you to just no, yell sorry. out challenge yell very out quickly. Challenge. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, um, guys, we're like going to, just a moment, Andrew. We're going to accept Andrew's challenges on 86. You've got an 84, 81, and 278. I'd like to bring this up to silver with distinction. I, I feel that this image presents itself in the composition wise and storytelling, given that the author, congratulations by the way, with the beautiful use of lighting, colour, and softness that you brought to this image. The communication, I think, is absolutely amazing between a little boy and his pet, surrounded by what presents itself to the author. And he's used all the elements. I say he, I'm sorry, he or she has used all the elements around to produce this beautiful image, the softness of it. And often we see things that are really modern and sometimes elegance itself presents. And I feel this is an amazing print. And Thank you, deserves, Andrew. Yeah. Uh, we're going to hear from Natalie on 78. I agree with Andrew and that's actually why I put it in professional standard. For me to take it to a ward, um, I'm actually finding the little boy's wrist quite distracting the way it's positioned and I would have loved to have seen more expression and more face from the dog. So otherwise it's a stunning professional standard. Thank you. Back to you, Andrew, right of reply. Um, I looked at the wrist as well, and I appreciate the comment, but if you look at everything else that this image brings, I think that alone does it for me. Thank you. So Andrew's score of 86 is locked in. Judges, please rescore now. And it goes to 82, silver award. Thank you. Next print, please. Once you've looked at the photo, judges, please enter your scores straight away. Thank you. We have an average score of 84. Andrew, you need to just sh shout to me. I'm looking here. You need to just shout. Anyone wants to challenge? Challenge. Thank you. Um, we have um, Andrew on 90. You've got an 86, an 84, 81 and a 77. So quite a score range. We're going to have an interesting conversation. So do I have a right of reply at the end? Yes, you do. Yeah. Thank you. So all right, guys, we're nearly there. We're at 86. We're only a few points away for a goal, and I think this print's got it, yeah? A 86. Is no, sorry, there is an 86 in there, so, it's, so I'm just saying 84 is good. Thank you. Can you talk to the print, there. please? Sorry. And audience, yep. please stop disrupting yep. the judges. Um, I feel that this print has all the elements, photographically speaking, composition-wise, and delivery of a beautiful message, and there's so much focus between the owner of the dog and uh, the pet itself and um, it's fully charged and it I, don't, I don't find any fault. I'm finding it difficult to find a fault with this image. Perhaps I'll be able to listen to one of the other judges, but I'd really, Thank really you. like to see this go to gold. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, Dave on 77. I see uh, everything that you're talking about, Andrew, uh, but there's a couple of things for me. Um, I don't like that uh, the bottom crop, uh, that the cape of the dog is cut off. Uh, it's a little bit close to the dog's tail. Um, so t to, to be gold, it needs to be essentially perfect. And I see everything you do. The lighting technique is beautiful. There's a lot of beautiful things about this. Maybe I was a little harsh. I didn't like the heaviness of the background myself. But, um, yeah, I could probably come up into the silver range, but I, I'm really sorry I don't see gold. Sorry. Thank you. And Nick, you're on 86. I saw this go through um, when you had the walkthrough and it had an impact from right there. So I certainly looked at the impact straight away, which I, um, I t totally appreciate. But I think one of the things that's really annoying me is, one, um, I'm not, I'm not, I wish that it wasn't the actual that crate. I wish there was something a little bit more with character. Um, the other thing is, too, the actual um, post production between the dog and the, um, and the boy around, you know, his uh, mane there, it just, it, it just feels like it's, it, does, it doesn't quite quite sit well with me. Um, 
I, th- I definitely love it. It's an 86. I'm not too sure I should go to gold for me, though. Thank you. Back to you, Andrew, 90. I, I appreciate all the comments, but also looking at the dog itself with the cape being too close to the tail, I think it does it for me because it has a kind of a nest bend that leads me to the boy's face. That cape, if it was sticking out and going in the other direction, it would hold off for me to follow through to the little boy's face being Batman uh, in that sense. Yet the crate itself, I don't mind that at all. And the actual black or the actual composition between the dog and the boy's stomach, I think that works well too. And it's nicely vignetted around the edges to present the centre of the image with that charged focus of let's go and save Let's go and save some asses around here. Thank you. Expression. Thank you. Thank you. Andrew's score of 90 is locked in. The current average score is 84. Judges, please rescore now. And by majority, it stays at 84. Silver award. Well done. And it will go for review at the end of this session. Thank you. Next print, please. Thank you. We have an average score of 83, Silver Award. Thank you. And Annie, a brief comment about the photo? Yeah, I think this is a unique look at um, a family a life. And, um, yeah, it was, it's something different, which was great. Thank you. Next sprint, please. Thanks, Annie. Judges, we need to enter our scores promptly. Thank you. We have an average score of 85, silver with distinction. And Nick would like to challenge. He's on 91. You've got an 86, two 85s and a 78. This certainly has impact. As soon as, as, soon as it turns around, we like, you go, wow, that's fantastic. You come up to it and you really s- just appreciate how wonderful that you kept the details from the high keys to the to the shadow di- like the actual printing of this and the actual um, um, treatment of this image is fantastic then we go through to the expressions of the dogs and just it like you know what uh, if and you have like a little, little pea puddle I actually thought it was um, I actually thought it was um, uh, on a dust or something so I, l- I had a quick look at it I think that's a little pea puddle and you've got these expressions of dogs and saying well, it wasn't me, or it wasn't me. So the, the, the story about this and the print quality, oh, my God, you need to bring it up to 91. Or gold, I should say. Sorry. Thank you. We're going to hear from Andrew on 78. Sorry, I've probably been the lowest person that scored. It looks beautiful from a distance, Nick, but if we move close to it, the dog's fur to me is not dog's fur. Um, it's blown out in some areas, especially in the brown dog on the right-hand side on the highlights of the top of part of his head. Composition-wise, it's beautiful. I could bring this to silver, but not to a gold, I think, purely because of that. Thank you. Could we hear from Dave? You're on 86. I'm on 86, and I think I haven't done this image justice. I, uh, what I see here is three dogs with three different expressions, but being a family photographer and a kids photographer, I can see the three kids doing exactly the same thing. Oh, we've been brought here for a family portrait. Right. And, and I think it's great. I'm, I'm going up to gold. Thank you. Nick, back to you. Um, Andrew, I've just looked when you said it wasn't fur. I'm thinking I had to go really close. I, I, I'm sorry, I disagree there. I think that when I'm looking at this, this is 
highlights is, is like this thing where we, th- we, we talk about, oh my God, you shouldn't have any highlights. If we don't have any highlights, uh, shadow details, we're not going to have any depth or have any kind of contrast between the background and the foreground. I, I disagree with you there. I, I do, do feel that um, this really deserves a goal. Thank you. Next score of 91 is locked in. The current average is 85. Judges, please rescore now. And by majority, we have an average score of 90 gold award. Thank you. And next print, please. Thank you, judges. Scores, please. Thank you. We have an average score of 86, silver with distinction. Well done. Annie, just a brief comment for the photographer. Yeah, I think this is fabulous. I gave it 88. There's so much going on and um, we're seeing lots of personality and I also love the graphic um, design of the Im- image as well. Thank you. And Annie, on that lovely note, w- um, Kelly's going to come and give you a coffee break. Kelly Tunney is joining us. Thank you. Next print, please. Thank you. We have an average score of 78. And could we have a very brief comment from Dave? Yeah, I'm just missing highlights in the bub's eyes. They're, they're a little bit dead for me, so unfortunately. But great original image. Thank you. Next print, please. Scores, please, judges. Thank you. We have an average score of 82, silver award. Challenge, yes. Andrew would like to challenge. He's on 88. You've got an 82, 81, an 80 and a 77. I'm asking my fellow judges to bring it to silver with distinction. One, the print handling, I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, the creativity of presenting a beautiful image, such as almost a silhouette shot of a husband and wife holding a baby, with such beautiful details on the faces, held together by that white area in the background, it's almost confusing when you look at it. When you get up close to it, you go, wow, there's so much happening in that. And then in support to that, it's, it's something innovative and something different that the author has produced for us to look at. And it has got blacks and it has got whites and it has all the tonality plus all the emotionally charged image that this brings. Thank you. Uh, Kelly on 77. Yeah, I think for me the money shot's smack bang in the middle and I feel that the elements around the outside are just very distracting and um, I'm not looking at where I really want to be looking at and that's that beautiful connection between the three of them. Um, I just feel like that part's just a bit of an afterthought. Let's just sort of add this new 
element and I think it's just gone a bit too far. Thank you. Back to you, Andrew. I, I felt that too, Kelly, but after looking at it from a distance other than looking up really close, this works well for me because it leads my eye to the centre with all those lines going right around it and so symmetrically placed together. Thank you. Um, Andrew's score of 88 is locked in. Judges, please rescore now. And it stays at 82, silver award. Thank you. Next print, please. Scores, please, judges. Thank you. And we have an average score of 84 with Andrew on 90. You've got an 88, 84, 82 and a 78. So we'll hear from Peter next. Andrew. We often get asked about what, how do we probably put a point to an image that presents itself. Um, I feel from a distance this image has everything, composition-wise, lighting in the sense of just holding it together in the sense of um, putting it all together in that sense. And just even, th even the way that, that the child, like for instance on the left-hand side and she's sort of kneeling down, is being held off together to the other on the opposite side directly and then the bottom and the top Everything sounds so beautifully. Yes, it could have had a little bit better lighting in the centre for the parents, and I would have brought that to gold with distinction, but I think this image is absolutely amazing. Thank you. Uh, Peter on 78. Okay. Uh, I'm recognising the novel presentation, which first catches your eye, and, whoa, I have to go in and have a closer look. But to me, when I'm in there, I'm not believing the expressions. I just don't feel... It's a gen the, the, the expressions and the interaction is genuine. I feel there's been Thank a lot you, of Peter. direction from the photographer and maybe to have let the person, uh, just finish the sentence, uh, maybe let the people just flow a little more may have Thank brought you. out that. Um, Natalie, a brief comment to add? Okay, um, and that uh, I've uh, scored this in the silver range. I agree with both Peter and Andrew, and that's why um, I've gone silver. I find that the poses are just a little contrived. The lighting is a little flat, but other than that, it is beautiful. It has an amazing impact, and it is a, a different way of producing a family portrait. Thank you. Your right of reply, Andrew. Thank you, Peter, for your comments. And I'm looking at the centre image. Uh, let's just say pick that at 12 o'clock and there's two children there being so responsive to the photographer and so much charged emotion in that image. And yet maybe there's this bit of a storytelling here, like to say the parents have kind of had enough. Kids, stop mucking around. Let's get ready for the family shot and let's do it. I know I'm not allowed to say that, but there's so much expression happening in different variants in every, let's call them a circle, that presents itself in the end to say we finally achieved it. Because Thank the children you. are being mischievous as well. So anyway. Thank you. Um, Andrew's score of 90 is locked in. The current average is 84. Judges, please rescore now. And by majority, the print stays at 84. Silver award. Thank you. And it will go for review. Next print, please. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Peter. Uh, just for our audience uh, information, a judge can stand back from a print at any time. 
Yes, you can, Natalie. Uh, Peter, Peter, Peter Rossi, can you come in, please, for Natalie? So just while I'm explaining that, it's happened again. So what we encourage our judges to do, in fairness to the photo, for any reason whatsoever, they do not have to tell us. They can elect to stand back from judging a print. And we have a lovely team of well-qualified judges to look at your work. And in fact, the replacement is the current portrait professional photographer of the year looking at your work at the moment. Judges, scores please. Thank you. We have a current average score of 82. And Andrew would like to challenge on 92. We've got 83, 82, 79, 76. Perhaps if some of my judges don't feel that that should deserve at least a high score. Yes, yep, yep, no score. Sorry. Um, I scored this 92 because when it presented itself to me, it was a little bit challenging to sort of look at and assess what the message is right across this. Yes, of course, we're not going to be able to see uh, a Jesus, a pregnant Jesus on a cross, but perhaps, you know, uh, the suffering of a person, and to begin from my, from my comments, but this is how I see it, is that, you know, when a person is about to give birth, in that sense, she may go through her sufferings as well. And she's looking for some kind of, you know, the light, I suppose, that comes across in narrative in that, in this image, is to be able to enlighten her and bless her with probably a new life that's coming. And I think Thank the you. message in that is very artistic. Thank you. Uh, we're going to hear from Kelly on 76. Uh, I think for me it's the, the communication is lost. I can see the obvious. I can see things that have been given to me in a bright light, but I can see the connection is completely missing and um, that that's just lacking for me. I can't connect I can't connect with that. So Thank you. Uh, briefly from Peter on 83. Yeah, I, I find it extremely thought-provoking and that's why I'm give t giving it the 83. Uh, technically, she, I can almost feel where she has been cropped out of an image, of course, because I'm sure she wasn't staked, uh, and, and put there. So straight away, uh, they've lost the reality or the realism of it because of the, the quality of the workmanship of making her look like she really was there. Um, but cons uh, I love the concept and, and your interpretation Thank you. opened up even more things. Good. Thank you. Back um, to Andrew, your right of reply. So with that in mind, let's take all the elements that have been used to bring this print together. One, it is to make her look unreal because there's no woman that would be crucified on the cross. Yes, she did have to be taken from an house elsewhere and put on the cross itself. But if we, let alone, have a look at all the elements that present themselves to this image and the way that we see even that glow that comes across and you see on the left-hand side of her, that glow is absolutely amazing. There's so much details in it. And let's just talk about photographically present presented image. This alone itself brings it way over across to a gold range. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Andrew's score of 92 is in, and judges, please rescore now. Thank you. We have an average score of 84, silver award. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Natalie. Next print, please.
Thank you. We have an average score of 78. We have four 78s and 179. So there you are. Uh, can we have one of the Nick, thank you. Could you just give us a brief comment? I really love the graphic elements is, um, th this, this picture portrays, but when you take the images as a standalone image of themselves, um, I feel that that's doesn't doesn't quite um, take over the line for me. Thank you very much. Next print, please. Thanks, Natalie. Um, Peter, can you pop back in for Natalie? Thank you. We have an average score of 81. Thank you. Silver Award. You. Kelly, a brief comment from you. Cool graphic elements, um, but just the fall away with the depth of field and the edge of the chair for me just sort of lost it a little bit with everything else being so tack sharp, but great, great image. Okay. Thank you very much. And we've got Peter Rossi is replacing Natalie to allow her to go. No, no, stay there. You're in now. It's official. <laughs> You're in with water bottle. Thank you. Next print, please. Scores, please, judges. Dave, just check your scores in. Thank you. We have an average score of 82, silver award. <laughs> Thank you. And um, Kelly, yes, you a brief comment. Thank you. I'm just losing the message with the bottom half of the image. Um, if that wasn't there, potentially different score. Okay, and so some other nodding. Thank you. Next print, please. Thank you. We have an average score of 84. And Andrew would like to challenge. He's on 90. You've got an 87, 83, 82 and a 76. Well, we're not far off. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm looking at this image. As soon as it presented itself to me, I thought, wow, what a beautiful image. Just looking at the eyes, the way that those boys are looking into the camera and that communication between photographer and the shot itself is amazing. The lighting, the composition. Um, I, I'd love to hear what some of your judges have to say about this print, but I'd like to see this go with a high silver distinction. Thank if you. If not a gold, please. Kelly is on 76. I, I appreciate the connection with the camera, absolutely. Um, I, it, for me, just that 
unusual background, I suppose. It's sort of hard to actually tell if it's in the texture in the background, if it's a weird colour cast in that green part of the section going on. Not sure. I found all that just a little bit too hard to get my head around. So I've, uh, I've scored it 76. Thank you. Nick, a comment on 87? I actually really love this image as it turned around, um, Andrew, and I think what I, I sort of, it's one of those kind of images that are very sort of almost like a New York kind of, you know, image which you'll see. But I think what fought down a little bit for me was the guy th in the far left-hand corner there. It just seems like, you know, he's been con just told, just put your, put your, your thing there. Um, I've got 87. <coughs> I don't know if it'd be a goal for me, but definitely um, I'd love to hear what you have. Um, with Thank you. Back to Andrew there aren't we with this image itself because it's causing a little bit of a stress in everyone's mind should I do it or should I not do it I say go ahead and do it because it's absolutely amazing the reason why that tiny little bit darker on the left hand side is because the boy's showing skin where in fact on the right hand side itself it's complete black with no skin on the other side so we're almost balanced out holding it all together that for me forms an altar to hold that beautifully composed image with triangles where the lips and the eyes have been placed. And believe me, this is no mistake. This is very artistically done and craftfully done. So congratulations. Thank the you, author. Andrew. Andrew's score of 90 is locked in. We have a current average score of 84. Judges, please rescore now. By majority, we have a score of 84, Silver Award. Thank you. And the print will go for review. Next print, please. Thank you. Thank you, judges. We have an average score of 78. And Dave, could we have a brief comment, please? Beautiful, beautiful image. Um, very, very saleable. I'm, I'm absolutely sure they love this. I just feel like the printing has let it down and the lighting on the face. Thank you. Thank you. Next print, please. Sorry, can we have a blank screen, please? Okay, our system's caught up with us. Uh, we can have the print back now. <laughs> Thank you. And judges, please enter your score now. Please, judges. Thank you. Uh, the system's trying to catch up with us. Can we have a blank screen, please? So we have the judges' scores locked in, but we don't actually have the average for the current photo. Yep. So um, we just have to have a little chat entertain ourselves, just a small technical hitch. Sorry to the entrant, we have the scores locked in, so, and I can now see the average. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Oh, you can probably see it on the screen if you're watching live anyhow. But we'll wait out of respect 
to the entrant until the photo is back here and we'll announce it. So let's see, who haven't we talked to? Who haven't we talked to? All right, um, Andrew. Andrew's been doing a lot of talking, but Andrew, can you just tell us a little bit about um, what you do, where you work? Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm a wedding and portrait photographer, that which brings my bread and butter, but I also do commercial and fashion photography. Um, and I work out of a beautiful place in North Melbourne or West Melbourne called Glow, Glow Studios. Um, I did have a, a studio recently in Sydney Road, Brunswick, which was a 10 room studio. Um, I adapt it to what the modern trend brings to our business and changed with it completely. And I should have done that a long time ago, I think. So I love photography, yeah. Do I keep going? Um, Is it over? So wha <laughs> what kind of things did you do to adapt to the modern trend? Well, I upgraded my website and went modern technology with all the terms and conditions in accepting payments and communicating with customers and, and that type of thing. So I accepted the changes that were made in my prospect's mind, which is which are my clients, and I change with them. Um, oh. And it's brought back an absolute glorious challenge for me to learn a lot more and also up update all the photography to keep up with well what done. clients are looking for these days. And what do you think clients are looking for these days? They're looking for absolutely amazing personalised service, as it always has been, um, in the sense of being able to listen to them and deliver the goods. Thank you. I haven't gone down in price. I've gone up in price in today's. Well done. So. All right. Well, thank you for that. Thank you for filling in our little space in our conversation. We're ready to have the print back now. Thank you, Andrew. Can we have the print back, please? Thank you. And we have an average score for this photograph of 75. And Nick, if you could make a brief comment for the photographer. Just a little thing, little hint when you actually do um, putting in your prints, um, if you just squint a little bit, you can always see what the, 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 um, the brightest part of the image is, and it's normally um, where you want to focus your attention to. And in this instance, it's all about that white sky in the background, which is conflicting to with the actual um, image itself. Lovely. Thank you so much. Next print, please. Scores, please, judges. Thanks, judges. Scores, please. We have an average score of 85, silver with distinction. Thank you. And Kelly, a brief comment? Yeah, it's a cracker. It's awesome. It's energy. It's fun. It's colourful. It's awesome. I love it. Well, worthy of a civil distinction. Well done. Thank you. And we are going to have a judge change. Thank you, Annie. If you could come in and Andrew has helped us out a lot this morning, so you can have a little coffee break. Thank you very much. And next print, please.
Thank you. Scores, please, judges. Thank you. And we have an average score. Ah, I thought I had my timing just perfect for it to pop up on the screen. Here we go. We have an average score of 80 silver award. Thank you, Peter. A brief comment for the photographer. I find the expression on the woman letting me down. Then I, I thought maybe the author is trying to draw me in to uh, find something that may be a reason for her not giving her full attention to the photographer. Uh, I think it's a great story. I think the expressions could have been ramped up a little to really show us where people were at rather than it just looks a very bland while we're waiting for the shot shot. For me. Thank you very much, Peter. And that print scored a silver award. We're just going to have a blank screen for the moment. We're just going to check a announcement. One moment. So, can we have the next print, please? Thank you, judges. Thank you, judges. Scores, please. Dave and Peter, can you just check? Yep, yeah, and they've come through. Thank you, thank you. And we have an average score of 83, silver award. Thank you. And Nick, could you make a brief comment for... Oh, sorry, Kim. Nick. When you have a lot of elements like this, um, and there's, we try to t find a story with this, and I, I just, I think it's a great concept, and I really love the concept, which is why I awarded it a silver award. But when you have all these different bits, of just I didn't get quite get the whole story, so I needed it to be conveyed a little bit better. Lovely. All right. Thank you so much. So, judges, just so the live streaming can be worked on and it's having a few issues, it needs to catch up with itself. So, we're actually going to go to our break early, to our coffee break. So, you are, can all go for a coffee break. All my judges, you have to be back here at 11. At 11. And the time now is 10.23. So at 11, please be back in here and the judging will start shortly after that. Um, thank you to our sponsor for this category, Bruce from G Clay uh, Me Media Supplies. So thank you so much for sponsoring us. Uh, we've had a great start to the morning, some fabulous awards and some amazing images have been on display already. So please check back in with us. We'll be back with you shortly. <laughs> 